the Joe Rogan experience. I want to sure. hear about your parasites. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what's going on? Well, uh, there's still more testing, but they did find something called schistosomiasis in me. So schisto um, is from the tropical rainforest of Africa. Um, I think that's the only place it exists, but it comes from these snails. And so because I probably bathed, not because I probably, I have bathed in the rivers there, um, been in the rivers, going across so did you get rivers. it in your mouth? No, uh, they can get into your skin. And I, I was real itchy for a couple weeks there. And what that was was some of the like parasites, I guess. Um, what'd you call it? They're, they're like egg sacs or something that got on me. Yeah. Got inside of my stomach, my liver. Oh Jesus. Um, could be potentially even in my brain. In your um, brain? Potentially. So, um, so they don't know yet. They, well, they, uh, what's today? Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Monday I did my final exams and, uh, I did three full days with this doctor, Dr. Daniel Amen. He would be phenomenal for the show, by the way. He's incredible. Two two TED Talks, millions stop, of stop, views. Stop. You, you keep, you're such a great promoter of okay. your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah You sure. divert and you want to talk yeah. about them. I want to talk about you. Okay, let's talk about me. What's going on with your I brain? I saw him because I, I kept getting jerked around by all these different doctors. It's this, it's this, it's this, right. it's this. Right. And I've had numerous endoscopies to go look in my stomach because why am I throwing up? And um, one says it is an ulcer. Another comes out and says your stomach's perfect inside. It's a little red, but like there's no ulcer whatsoever. Um, and so I have schisto, I've had an intestinal bacteria that's really bad called Shigella. I've had malaria three times. I've had dengue fever. So dengue was in me for at least a month. The CDC found it in me. They but you've some... had this parasite in you yeah. for a long time now. Yeah. How many months? At least six, um, since April. And have you been able to train at all during this time? Uh, ups and downs. So I was at the police and fire training center of Oklahoma city and I was just helping them. Um, there's some really great guys there. And uh, I was helping them, and the fire chief ended up putting me in the cold shower for like 20 minutes because I got so – they said I got like ghostly white, and I started uh, dry heaving, and I was just shaky all over. This is all from your parasites? Yeah. Jesus and Christ, And so it's a up and down. I'll, I'll, start, I'll start getting in shape. I'll start losing weight. I'll start, um, I'll start feeling good, and then I just crash. I've had shingles five times, Joe. What the fuck? Five times. And, so and what can they do is, uh, about this stuff? Well, I'm, I'm starting to do hyperbarics, um, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Um, got a prescription for that. And uh, that's been helping more than anything right now. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to have that morning routine, protect my sleep, eat right. Uh, my wife helps me meal prep. I have juices all through the day. I have the superfood coffee. I ha I, I'm doing all the stuff I can. I was on 28 pills a day f uh, for four or five weeks in a row. This Just doctor, for this parasite? Yeah. Well, a, a whole parasite cleanse because they and think they I haven't could have been a parasite to... that they haven't found oh, or Jesus that they haven't Christ. like, um, that's not because I'm going so remote, Joe, mm -hmm. in the forest, they think I could have picked up something crazy. So they, they just did crazy. a Lyme, Lyme's disease test on me. Uh, this was on Monday. So Lyme's disease, they did a cheek swab from like genetics. They did, uh, hair. So they cut off like, uh, six different spots of hair. Your glowing locks. Yeah. So they cut that. My wife was, uh, my mom were teasing me cause I was like crying about it. I was like, don't, don't cut it here. Don't cut it here. Uh -huh. Um, so they took six spots, uh, of hair samples from me, um, blood, urine, stool samples. Um, they did two different kinds of, uh, brain scans on me. Um, so they literally injected something that was, uh, very minorly radioactive, um, mm. in me. Yeah. So that it could light up all the different spots in my brain activity. So where there's too much blood flow or there's not enough. Um, and literally, so one of the things I found on the scan, which I already knew, but they can test um, not just stuff for like CTE or mild traumatic brain injury and TBI before autopsy now with these mm -hmm. brain scans. Um, they can also test for um, like PTSD. And so there's this, there's this diamond in the middle of your brain and you're only supposed to have a little bit of activity there, just very, very small. But if you have this, what they call the ring of fire, this diamond of red and white being lit up on the brain scans, that literally shows that you have PTSD. So I had Dakota Meyer in here. Do you know who he yep. is? Yeah. Dakota. That was an incredible podcast. I meant to text you afterwards. Yeah, he's, he's an amazing guy. If amazing people haven't heard guy. that one, go back and watch it. It's one of my favorites that you've had. He, Dakota's a legitimate hero. But one of the things that he was saying was that they in injected him and this, do you remember what the blocker was oh, called? That blocker? SKG or 
so whatever the blocker XPG was, or he, something like that. he described it and yeah. he said it completely stopped his PTSD. Yes. Yeah. Cured all of his anxiety. It away. See if you can re- find it, Jamie, just so we could reference it. I remember that. I yeah. sent it to my I mean, wife. She's in psychology right now. Mm-hmm. She's going to be a counselor. And I sent that to her because they were talking about PTSD. And the teacher said, oh, yeah, that's been around for a while, too. And that's what Dakota said. Yeah. It's I think been they made a clip. A while. Uh, I think they made a clip that Jerry Clips guys did. What's it called? Stellet Ganglion yes. Block. Yes. Yes. Yeah. SGB. It was right SGB in the yeah. blocker. Stellet Ganglion. Yes. Ganglion. Yeah. 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 That, he said... It just instantly alleviated all of his problems, yeah. which is insane. I mean, yeah. like, my, wouldn't you love that? The yes. miracle cure? They give you a shot, boom, your problems go away. Absolutely. Didn't he say it lasts for like a year? I think he said six months to a year, depending yeah. on, it kind of, you have to have other traumatic I'm stuff. I'm thinking of doing it, it even though I don't have anything wrong. Yeah. I just want to feel great. Yeah. Well, this is what's <laughs> crazy. Oh, and Dakota said that, but this Dr. Daniel Amen, um, who's got like, he's a 10 time New York Times bestselling author. And- He's got a book about PTSD and um, basically he was saying that, yeah, um, that shot really, really does work mm. um, and people have been doing it for years and with veterans, um, it's one of the quickest. Do they um, think that you treatment. have some PTSD? Yeah. They, oh, so he was saying this, which Dakota said, you just cued that up where, or triggered that in my memory where um, the most common PTSD is car wrecks. I think that's what Dakota said, right? Yes. Is car wrecks cause the most PTSD, mm. same spots in your brain, that diamond of fire. Um, and then it's something you can't avoid, right? You have to go back and be in public transportation or get in your own car. Do you have them um, from car accidents? No, not from car accidents. What do you think you have it from? From some tough stuff um, in the rainforest, whether it's Uganda or Congo. Mm. Um, we've had to flee from a, a village whenever a rebel group came into the yeah. village next to us and they killed six or eight people and we're all fleeing across the river in these like little pygmy dugout canoes, which aren't big enough really for me. Um, Mm. and we're trying to flee across the river before the sun's even up and there's like crocodiles and hippos in the water. Um, and then, uh, and then a couple other really terrible things. I mean, I've, I've held kids that have died and buried them and dug their graves and, um, that's happened numerous times. Uh, We've had machine guns pointed at us. Um, I won't get into that story too much, but um, we talked about that one yeah. of those stories before. Yeah, and someone, yeah. someone I love was, re- or a bunch of people that I love were with me, and uh, so that was really tough because we were unarmed and we we're being threatened, um, and so that was tough. Um, and then, and then some like childhood stuff. I think uh, different kinds of abuses, bullying, and stuff, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, some yeah. bullying, okay, some public shaming, and yes. mm-hmm. I don't want to lose track of what I was asking sure. you about your health. Oh, okay. So what what are they doing, and what can they do about what what you have? So when you said you might have some crazy shit, meaning yeah. you might have a parasite that they don't even know yet. Yes. So, so that they're, it might they're, be in. Uh, that's an why they diagnosed my or, urine, blood, mm-hmm. um, urine, blood, stool, hair and cheek swab samples. So it's possible um, that you have something that like very few human beings have ever had because at you're least in this that they deep, haven't deep, found, deep, deep, right? deep jungle. Yeah. How long yeah. does it take you to get to where you go? <clears throat> well, it depends on where, where we go. The but, deepest uh, place. Um, okay, a plane from Oklahoma City to normally Chicago or Dulles or JFK or Atlanta, and then we go to Amsterdam or London or is it Qatar or Qatar? I think it's Qatar. Qatar, okay. I think. And then we'll fly either from there to Nairobi, Kenya, or Kigali, Rwanda. And then from there, you connect to um, Kampala, Uganda. And then from there, you get a private, like, missions or humanitarian plane that's just you and the pilot. And so uh, you take that plane from there to you, uh, from Uganda to Congo, and then you land, you do customs, and then you get back in the plane and you go and you land on a runway that normally they have just cleared with machetes. So, so how many times you that. flying? You're flying from Oklahoma City. Let's just say Oklahoma City to JFK. Yep. JFK it's to London. Two planes. So two to London. London to Kenya. Kenya. Kenya, Kenya to, to Uganda. Uganda. Four. Uh, Uganda, Uganda to Congo, to Congo five, and then you get in, in the plane again to go out to the range. So six planes, <sighs> six flights at least, five planes. How many days? Uh, that's normally two or three days. Jeez. And then um, 30 hours or something of travel. And then after that, you get in a car and it could be six hours. So where you land used to be in the rainforest, but you drive six hours now to get to the rainforest. How come? Because it's deforestation so bad. Oh, wow. The deforestation in the last 25 years, they've cut down about the size of Texas. 
It's pretty wild. Jesus we've we've Christ. we've helped replant four thousand trees, but that's not even scratching the surface. Who's doing this? Who's deforesting? Everybody. Um, uh, it's a lot of uh, Chinese, UK, um, and outsiders that come in and exploit the rainforest. There's a lot of mahogany in the area. Mm. Um, what is it? Ebony. Um, there's do they a have, lot of do they get rubber trees. Licenses to do this? No, no, no. no. No, they just do it. They just they just send someone in and cut down the trees. So and no pay one locals to do it. No one stops them. No. So they just claim the resources. Yeah. They don't have on on the border. They might have to pay some sort of bribe um, or tax. They call them that. Wow. You know, that or taxes. They call them that. Yeah. V A T. That's a Ugandan way oh. to say taxes. Oh, and uh, then from there, that drive that six hours. Sometimes it's taken twenty five hours one time, and another time it took forty seven <gasps> hours. Same drive. <gasps> 47? Yeah. Why did it take 47? Oh, I think we helped get 40-something cars out of the way um, that were stuck in the mud. Um, so it's really silty there. You don't call Congo roads roads. Um, I've never been on tarmac in Congo. Oh, actually, that's a lie. I have been in uh, on cement in Goma. But outside of Goma, there are no uh, concrete roads anywhere, tarmac oh. roads. So uh, I've seen an 18-wheeler or lorry. Um Three fourths of the way sunk to where it's up up to their window, the driver's side window, up to silt. And how they get it out? I don't know that one. That one was just kind of in the graveyard. That one was like uh, done. No one's getting that thing out. Really? Yeah. So you so just gotta just go around there. it. Oh man, you're going around mountains and you look down to the side and you'll see four, eight, twelve vehicles that have flipped off of oh, that, that corner. Oh fuck so. this, Justin! <laughs> I'm not God kidding, man. Damn it! Yeah, there's some vice videos of uh, the craziest roads in the world. A lot of them are in Congo. Some say Rwanda because there's so many hills. It's the land of a thousand hills. Mm -hmm. And so there's so many sharp turns. And they take those turns at 40, 50, 60 miles an Uh, hour. And so they'll literally just fly off the mountain. So um, you catch this parasite. You've gone through all these tests. I mean, this has been, I mean, we've been talking about it on the podcast for several months now. So for me, hearing that you're still dealing with it is really disturbing. What what can they do about this? Um, What are they going to do about this? I think getting off that cleanse... I mean, I was on 28 pills for four weeks, maybe five weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, And some of it were like antibiotics, but I have to stay away from certain antibiotics. Here's the thing. A couple of things that I I know I have PTSD um, uh, because of my brain scans. Um, And then they see in my brain toxicity. And so um, the toxicity in my brain, which kind of form these little divots, um, but not really divots. It's not really changing the biology or makeup of my brain, but it's just activity of my brain mm-hmm. isn't fully developed right there where um, – or it's, it's being – toxins are there that are either from mefloquin or from Cipro. Have you heard of Cipro what is toxicity? Mef- what's the first one? Mefloquin. What is that stuff? That's a malaria drug. That, oh, geez. So the malaria drug. should take for any reason. Really? Um, uh, it used to be the drug of choice for our military. Now tens of thousands of our military veterans, if you look up mefloquine toxicity, military times, they've done two articles. One was just a month or two ago. Uh, but the first one showed that tens of thousands of our military veterans have wrongly been diagnosed with PTSD. And it's been because of this mefloquine. So they never saw war, but oh. the mefloquine toxicity of the brain, it's like this poison for your brain. Um, and if you've taken it for like six months, you can have it. It starts giving you bad nightmares. Um, you can have different kinds of mood swings and different stuff. Um, health, uh, joint aches, um, fatigue, all sorts of different things. But um, basically what mefloquine toxicity of the brain does, well, tens of thousands have been wrongly diagnosed with it when they take it for once a, once a week. So you take the pill once a week, and that was why it was our drug of choice. Instead of it being every day or two times a day, right. you just take it once a week. Well, when I had malaria the three times, I was allergic to the normal malaria medication, quinine and artifan and um, some other drugs like doxycycline and uh, malarone. I wasn't responding to those well. I was vomiting. I was, uh, <clears throat> I, I was allergic to them. So mefloquine, my body digested the best, or I just took it the best. So the three times I had malaria, they gave me two in the morning, two midday, and two at night. And so I'm taking six in a day for five to seven days. And these other guys that were getting mefloquine toxicity were taking it once a week for six months. So I had 30 to 42 in a week's time. I had six months in a week's time. 
And I did that three different times. Why are they giving you so much? It was what my body was responding to against malaria. The first time I lost 33 pounds in five days. And so I was vomiting red and green, blood and bile. I lost m- most of my hearing. Uh, my peripheral vision started disappearing. Jeez. I had some called black water fever where my urine was literally as dark as that, that black clock. Um, Take pictures of it? <laughs> I didn't. I should, probably should have. Yeah. Uh, it freaked me out. Uh, five days I didn't urinate. And then when I finally did, if you Google uh, black water fever, one in four or one in two people that get it, they die. You didn't urinate for how many days? Five days. days. Five she, days I couldn't pee. Oh, my God. Um, I, they were trying to uh, get IVs in me. My veins were collapsing. Oh, Jesus. Um, so that was that was pretty brutal. Um, but, yeah, man, so uh, I'm getting my health better there because I do want to fight again if but I how, can. But how can you if you have this yeah, stuff know. in your brain? Well, we're, I'm, I'm journaling my road to recovery. But, but, um, but if they don't know what this parasite is, how are they yeah. treating it? Like, what are they, how are they going to get well, it out of your system? They, hopefully they don't find anything because I just got off those rounds of, uh, so they're testing me for Lyme disease. Mm-hmm. They're testing me for all these kind of parasites, amoebas, right. bacterias. You can get um, Lyme disease mold. in the Congo? Well, I've, I've been camping out here and I've gotten like uh, bit by five or 10 oh, ticks Jesus, or something like bro. that. So, um, but yeah, there, there's these wicked kind of ticks. Um, my record is pulling five roaches out of my beard in one oh, night. Oh Christ. So there's tons of bugs there. Do you know, does uh, they have, does Oklahoma have that Rocky mountain, uh, I think so. tick? No, not that. Or the I'm Lone, sorry, Lone Star. Star tick. Yes. The one that gives you uh, a Lone meat Star allergy. Had that. Have you had that one? I've, I've been bit by that one. I don't think I have a meat allergy though. I hope not. Yeah. That's a crazy one. Um, mm-hmm. what is it called? Uh, alpha gal, alpha galactose. It's, uh, something that it's the reaction that this tick bite gives you it makes you allergic to this specific element in red meat wow yeah you can only eat fish and like if you try to eat meat you'll get really sick wow it's crazy that is crazy but they're they're trying to figure it out why (laughs) this is going to be crazy um why i'm 32 and i've had shingles five times uh, my first time I got malaria, I don't know if you can see the white in my beard over here, mm-hmm. but I got white in my beard the first time I had malaria. The second time I had malaria, I had white come out in my beard down here. So and your body's so, just freaking out. Yeah. So then now I've got shingles um, five times. Um, and then this is going to sound crazy, but I know I have to have a, <laughs> uh, this might be too much information, but I know I have to have a bowel movement whenever my nose starts running. Hmm. So literally, whenever I have to go, Your my nose starts, nose starts running, and then you running take a... and running and running. How is that and connected? I, I, I don't know. That's what they're looking into. Mm, they're like Jesus that. That's it, it, it's your second brain, and so it's it. I don't know. What? It's digestion. Your, your stomach your is your second brain. They said. Oh, that's it's got why more they say neurons, trust your gut. Trust your gut. Yeah, it's got literally more neurons in your stomach than in your brain. Really? Uh, that's what the doctor was saying. I know that's the case t- with your heart as well, right? There's a bunch of neurons in your heart. Hmm. That uh, they're realizing now, like that whole idea of trusting your heart, mm-hmm. trusting your gut, like these yeah. uh, these th- thought processes that people had might have actually been based on some intuitive understanding of how, how the body actually works. Wow. It's really weird. It is weird. Really weird. Strange. Everything. Everything's connected, mm-hmm. right? Everything's yeah. connected. That's not weird, really. Okay. I mean, it makes sense over time. And it, the doctors in Oklahoma are like, we have no explanation for that. And then the doctors out here were like, oh, that's because this is connected to this. And they did all my blood work even though they've did more blood labs before i ever came out here Mm -hmm. like a week or two ago they still poked me five more times to get more blood work uh because well three times they were drawing blood two times they were putting that stuff in me so they could do the brain so you're getting better uh, doctors out here yeah more more informed yeah more informed yeah